Hi folks and welcome back to Math with Captain Rod. Uh, the topic is of this video is going to be uh, complex numbers. So before we start talking about complex numbers, we're going to talk about uh, the imaginary number i here. So the imaginary number i is a value that solves this equation here, i squared equals minus 1. And of course, you know, when you're dealing in algebra with the real number system, you know, equations like x squared equals negative 1 or x squared equals negative 4, we say have no solution to them. Well, in truth, they have no real solution. But again, they do have what's called an imaginary solution. In the case of this example right here, the value of x that would multiply, or such that x squared is negative 4, would be 2i. And uh, actually, plus or minus 2i because minus 2i also would square to uh, negative 4. And the reason that this value works is because if we were to take, let's say, uh, 2i and square it, we would get 4i squared, and 4i squared is minus 4. So i is what's referred to as an imaginary number, and it's the value that basically solves this equation here. It's the value that when you square it, you get negative 1. Now, the complex number system is just a more generalized version of what uh, you know most of you watching this video are already kind of uh, familiar with. So you have what are called real numbers. And these are the numbers that everybody knows about, you know, 2, 5, pi, 22 ninths, etc. And then you have imaginary numbers, which would be like uh, 2i, 5i, negative 3i, etc. And in general, what a complex number is, it uh, can be written in the form a plus bi, where a is the real part, and then the bi is the imaginary part. So the idea of the complex number system is just a more general number system here. Really, all the values that I've talked about in this video are a subset of the complex number system. So even this guy right here, this the real number 2, you could think of that as 2 plus 0i. Or this guy right here, 2i, you could think of that as 0 plus 2i. So everything on the page here is some subset of what's called the complex number system. So this is just meant to be kind of an introductory video. Uh, the important things here of this video is you have real numbers, and these are the numbers you're probably already familiar with. You have imaginary numbers like 2i, 5i, negative 3i, where i is a value such that i squared is equal to minus 1. And then in general, you have what are called complex numbers. And we usually write z for complex numbers. I don't know why. But uh, complex numbers in general have this form, a plus bi, where a is the real part and the bi is the imaginary part. And again, all the numbers that you're used to dealing with in algebra are a subset of the complex number system. So again, this is just meant to be an introductory video. I hope that this gives you a little bit of an idea. I'll make other videos for multiplying, dividing, adding, subtracting these things. All right, have a great day.